Hey mommy, how are you? So I just wanted to talk um, a little while about something because I've been um, reading lately a lot of different posts about, um, you know, different causes of why moms can't breastfeed or why breastfeeding wasn't possible. So we hear a lot of things um, that affect moms with breastfeeding, especially in regards to the type of birth that the baby had, you know, how the labor was. Um, we also hear a lot of things that may, maybe happened after the baby was born, like if the baby was jaundiced, um, if the baby had a circumcision, if the baby had this, if the baby had the other. So we hear a lot of different things and, and reasons, you know, why breastfeeding is impossible or um, why you're struggling so much with breastfeeding. Um, and although a lot of those things are valid and they have been proven that it affects, you know, how alert the baby is. And we do know that it is so important those first few hours, um, you know, after a baby's born, um, that they do, you know, they do have some sort of effect on how much, you know, they are alert. So basically, depending on how they are alert, how much they're able to latch on the breast and how they're able to breastfeed. But it gets to a point where there's just so many different things and we just keep hearing them over and over again that it kind of makes me wonder if then all of a sudden they become like excuses and then it becomes very obvious and, and, and you know and unfortunately we live in this society especially here in the western world where formula is so readily available and the um you know formula companies the pharmaceutical companies that manufacture formula have made it like drilled into us um, you know, that uh, formula is just as good as breast milk and trying to prove, you know, how, um, you know, like they kind of ha have our backs if breastfeeding is not possible. So it's really, really kind of um, trekking. Uh, it's really like trekking into like dangerous territory there because it's so easy to just, oh, okay, so I'll just keep formula, you know, this didn't work out, you know, that's it, you know, I'll just switch to formula, that's fine. So I just wanted to kind of underline that I think that what really, really is like the root of the problem is because we don't have enough support and guidance um, of other like breastfeeding moms and breastfeeding advocates and the nurses and the staff and the medical field is not supportive, us, supportive enough of us to help us and guide us through um, the beginning of breastfeeding that is so difficult because that's what it really comes down to. Breastfeeding is hard. It's difficult. It's not just a natural thing that comes to everybody. It's not like, um, it's kind of like if you think about it, like riding a bike, you know, it, it, that doesn't come natural to us. It takes time and um, it's something that has to be learned and we have to understand, um, you know, how we can make it work and what works for some doesn't work for others. So it's kind of like you're uh, testing different methods to try and make it work for you. So I just wanted to kind of, um, bring that across I mean was there and maybe it was like that for you because I really struggled in my first breastfeeding journey or maybe you're going through some struggles now what is it that other people are saying to you um because sometimes what maybe they think that they're being supportive and what they're saying is like oh you know it's fine you're not you're not able to do it but it doesn't matter there is an alternative you know you can just um form your feed your baby that's fine a lot of people have done it don't feel bad about it and then you kind of like throw in the towel and that's it. And then you get into this um, journey of like, this is what you would have wanted, but you know, you weren't able to do it. So you kind of gave up. And I think that's where really perseverance really comes in. And, you know, um, you're knowing your why you want to breastfeed and that helps you and gives you like the fuel to continue through your breastfeeding journey, even though it's hard. Um, so I just wanted to get your mom's opinions on that too. Is there something that you're struggling with right now? What are other people saying to you and how, how are you being able to overcome that? Um, and like I said, so there's just seems to be like there's a reason, for, like everybody has a reason um, a just to, to justify why they're not being able to breastfeed and kind of just um, use that as, you know, this is my justification and, and that's it. But I, th I really truly believe that everybody can breastfeed and I've talked about that a lot before. Um, our bodies can do it. It's just not going to be as easy at the beginning. And maybe at the beginning, it's not all going to be uh, breast milk. Maybe you'll have to supplement a little bit with formula. 
or donor milk or something like that and then you can you know start slowly to build your supply and then eventually you can just um, continue breastfeeding but we we tend to kind of make the assumption that if the breastfeeding journey doesn't start like we expected then that's it we're not going to be able to breastfeed at all or if we um, encounter like difficulties or struggles or anything like that then that's it we're not going to be able to breastfeed and I really don't think that's the case I think if it's really something you want to do there is so much support out there um, in our community we I have so much support for moms out there that have um, had struggles and things like that and um, I definitely believe that your baby will be so thankful for it and um, you'll be able to feel that sense of accomplishment um, it might not be what you were expecting at the beginning, but eventually you will be able to reach those goals. It's just, um, like I said, perseverance and being able to overcome those struggles, but not finding every single thing that went wrong um, during your labor or whatever, or your birth or, you know, the struggles that your baby has to be the, um, the kind of like the, the, the reason why you have to stop this journey. There is you know, um, some legitimate reasons, um, but like I said, I think it's about being, finding the support and kind of finding what works for you, like tweaking um, um, your breastfeeding journey, I guess that's what I would say, I would call it, because it's not the same for everybody, and that's where, you know, having, speaking with an IBCLC, getting a second opinion, also the same thing, sometimes you'll hear um, people say, oh no, your baby has a tongue tie. Maybe it's not a tongue tie. Maybe it's something that um, we can kind of work with a lactation consultant to readjust the latch. So there's so many different things, but I just wanted to really, really kind of give you some food for thought that um, not all is lost. You can overcome those struggles and you can have a successful breastfeeding journey. Um, we just can't be so um, down on everything and look at everything like, uh, you know, my, my baby was circumcised and, you know, he was in a lot of pain, so that's it, you know, it's really going to affect my breastfeeding journey or millions of other reasons that there could be because um, we have so many different examples of moms that have, have like, had their babies in the, in the NICU and worse things like that, and they were able to, um, to breastfeed. So Isaac is given the eye, like, see, they were able to breastfeed. You can do it too. So I just want to make sure that you kind of analyze that and kind of have that in the back of your mind and know that if breastfeeding is important to you, if it matters to you, then there's definitely, definitely something you can do to move forward with your breastfeeding journey. You just have to kind of look and see where you can tweak the areas that you can tweak to make it possible. Bye, mommies.